probably saw the last couple of videos I did were uh, based on uh, the Great Barrier Reef out at Swain's Reef and yeah, that was about three weeks ago now and that was a great trip. One thing I didn't really talk about much in the, the video so far is the boat itself. It's a, you know, as I said, it's a liveaboard charter. It's built especially for fishing charter business and, you know, the Swain's Reef's about 200 plus kilometres offshore. So, you know, it's not many trailer boats could actually make it out there. In fact, I, I guess only in the really southern ends of the Swain's could a trailer boat make it. And, but, uh, that being said, it's a great luxury boat, you know, having your own cabin, well, it's a double bunk cabin, so you're just sharing with one person, but each bunk room uh, has a ensuite between two rooms, so you, know, you only have to share your bathroom with three other people. And the really nice thing is that you get three hot meals a day, so it's great in the saloon upstairs, it's a great meeting area, and um, having everything done for you, you know, food, bait, uh, getting the dories, the boats prepared, Everything's done for you, so it's very nice. Yeah, I really hope, hope to do that again next year or the year after. Going on these charter trips offshore, yeah, a lot of us only get one or two chances to do that in a lifetime, if at all. And um, it's quite easy to, um, I guess, overthink it and maybe take the wrong gear, um, not enough gear, etc. And I, well, I've made a few mistakes over the years of what I've taken and so this this trip I decided to speak to one of the deckies on the night crossing uh, Jesse Gunn and I asked Jesse what's the mistakes the common mistakes that fishermen make when they come on the charter so let's roll that video Yeah, so we've been on the night crossing now for about four nights and had some good days, we've had some bad days, Jesse, and um, I thought I might ask you, I think I've made some of the mistakes that people make when they come out on these trips and I think you know, it's probably good if you sort of tell the people um, that are considering going on a, on a sort of a liveaboard fishing um, channel like the night crossing, yep. the mistakes, the common mistakes that people make and you know what they should not do and maybe what they should do. Well, number one would be probably bringing everything but the kitchen sink. You don't need yes, to bring... I think I was guilty of that this morning. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to bring absolutely everything out here. There's a fine line between too much gear and not enough gear. Mm -hmm. So you want plenty of hooks and plenty of sinkers, all your rods that you use and a couple of spares, but don't bring... You don't need to bring bloody 20 rods, obviously. We see lots of people bring out bloody every single rod that they own and all that sort of stuff. You don't need that many rods. Yeah, just so just your three main rods and a couple of backups. I think like last time I came up here, it was two years ago, and I broke two rods. Yeah. Um, so I couldn't make up my mind. I wanted to keep it down to three, but I brought them all. I brought five. Yeah, yeah. And so I only took out three or two each time. Well, that, that's really a good number, really. you got your three main rods, a couple of backup rods. Uh -huh. So there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're trying to take all five of your rods every time in the dory with you. Yeah. You don't. You only need to take two, three rods in the boat with you each time. Okay. Yeah. Right, what, what, what's the second sort of mistake you think that people make? Um, bringing not enough gear. <laughs> <laughs> Especially lead. Yeah, sinkers. lead. Yeah, you want to have plenty of light sinkers, plenty of like medium weight sinkers, talking like fours through to six balls, and um, yeah, not so much your droppers when you're fishing the Swain reefs. So, so not so much the paternoster sort of drop. Yeah, there. yeah. Lot, lots of mistakes people come well, that they bring when they come up here is they want to fish like they fish at home. Mm -hmm. It's totally different country up yes. here. Yeah, yeah. I, I found that, and I, I'd be the first to admit that I've been um, doing a lot of live baiting, a lot of jigging at home. Yeah. I come up here, and it's like not deep enough to jig really, and it's all about uh, offing the bait down to so yes. things like the trout. Yeah, right. yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so when you're up in the shallows fishing and all that, you want as light a sinker on as possible, running ball sinker to a hook, yeah. basic as with a pilly. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's, yeah. That's one of my mistakes. That I think I've put me down for two mistakes already. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? Bleeding your fish over the side, or washing your fish before you even bleed it over the side because you want to get a good photo. We've seen so many people. They're like, oh, I caught the fish of a lifetime, and I'll wash it over the side to get a good photo and it swam away. <laughs> so I don't think you made that mistake, no, hopefully. No, that and uh, bleeding them over the side just attracts the sharks and gives you a real bad trip then. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, anything else? Um, 
people with boat licenses mm -hmm. who can't drive a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they, they're getting all these licenses from, but yeah. Jesus Christ, we oh, see some horrible. Just give them away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had my boat license from years ago. The guy was pretty lenient. Yeah. But I went to when I got my jet ski license because you have to have a PWC yeah. license and a boat license. It was a joke. They gave me the answer to the test. Yeah, that's you know, a absolute joke. So you can see that you, know, you get people up here that know it. And you know, again, we don't have necessarily have dinghies in sea conditions. So, no. You know, it's hard to do. No, that's it. But yeah, we, we see lots of people who can't drive boats and they've had boat licenses a very long time. And some of the stories they tell us, they live way out in the middle of the desert. Yeah, yeah. And this guy comes in a car and he's like, oh, I'll take you down to the dam and I'll give you your boat license for 200 bucks. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So yeah. that's right. where most of my boat licenses come True from. True story. Yeah. yeah. And it's, a, it's not very good for um, safety, I must admit. You know, I have a bit of a stick like this. We go ashore a lot uh, fishing and on jet skis. So. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's... Yeah, no place for um, no. places to see and safety. So. No, there's too many sharks out here. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of sharks, there was um, not too many off the back of the boat this year for a change. No, um, yeah. We I would see you playing around with one earlier. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were trying to bring them up so we could get footage and all that mucking around. We love yeah. stirring the sharks up. We yeah. try and keep them at the big boat. We're yeah. trying to keep them at the big boat so you are up in the dories. But yeah. sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Do you think there's more sharks around now than there oh, has ever been? Yeah, yeah, they're they're ten times worse. We used to be able to jump off the back of the boat, swim to the dory, jump in and yeah. drive it up. Now we can't do any of yeah, that. Yeah, I got so. in trouble for washing my hands on the yes. back of the dory at the boat. Here. Oh yeah, when yeah. them sharks are there, as soon as you <laughs> so, put your hands in the water. So it's like, don't put your hands in there. That's yeah. Like, so how long have you been coming out here? Uh five years now. Five years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's how many weeks a year is, is the uh, night crossing out here? Uh we do. On average, 40 weeks a year. 40 weeks a year. Yeah, wow. so 12, 12 weeks off a year. Wow. Yep. That's, that's pretty good. And have you had any um, bad customer experiences <laughs> that um, you can repeat without? <laughs> no, not so much the person themselves. It's the alcohol. Alcohol ruins it for lots of people. You pay so much money to come out here on a fishing trip of a lifetime and all that, and they bring so much grog, and they ride themselves off every night they and they, they wake up out. yeah, yeah they're like, in bed half the day and the next day it's like you yeah. can drink you can drink grog at home can't you yeah you know for me it's it's about fishing yeah have a good time but you know you get to bed and then you got you're up at five or yeah. five thirty and um you're out in the water by six thirty yeah that's and, it and you you know you, it's a big day but you're here to fish yeah that's, that's it yeah yeah, yeah. So, it's a it's a fishing trip not a yeah. not a holiday that's it thank you very much for Perfect. your uh, it's, it's really good. Yeah, all yeah. good. Thank you.